Well, hello, Dan, Midwest Technical Sales and Richard behind the camera. We're going to combine actually three different topics, uh, even though we call this first topic how to test a tape drive uh, using uh, IBM ITDT tools, in the case of an HP drive using HP LT and L tools. We're just going to cover the IBM uh, testing today. The second half of it, we're going to talk about a chip reader and a little bit of uh, technology on how LTO Media records data transferred from the tape drive that tells how it's performing. And the third one's going to be just an overview of what we do in the lab, show you a little bit of our equipment that we use, and kind of go from there. So I'm going to slide over here I, uh, uh, to the left, and uh, we're going to start off on this particular screen over here. And what we have is just our Windows screen here. And I'm going to activate this um, IBM ITDT. And this is the Dell version. Uh, it's very similar to the IBM, but this is the kind of screen that you'd want to, you'll end up seeing. And you can download that um, up here. It indicates ITDT-DRC. And you, know, you can just type in ITDT on your Google search engine and you can download um, the Dell version or the IBM. So this is the first screen you're going to come up with. Now, I have a tape inserted in here. This happens to be an LTO4 SAS interface. It's ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking the cursor up here to scan. Okay, I'm going to click on the scan button. And it says, you know, you're going to scan your system for attached devices. Stop your backup. Would you like to continue? Yes. Okay. Activating that. So um, it's scanning for devices, and it identified a device. Okay. Ultrium half height LTO4, the serial number, and whatever. And it conveniently checked it for me, so which is kind of nice. Uh, typically, you would want to go just over here to the test function and click on that. But you have some other things you can do here. I mean, you can do some internal diagnos diagnostics, exercise test, eject test, reset system test. You can do a firmware upgrade from here if you wanted to do that. And you can run certain configurations on it if you want to do it from there. So we're just going to go make sure this is highlighted. That's the device. And we're just going to go test. Okay? So it's mounted the tape. Um, it's starting the testing protocol and this will t you know, sometimes you get a screen I had it up and running but sometimes you get a screen saying you know make sure this is a scratch tape so you don't lose any of your data because it overwrites the data on the tape and uh, so we're not going to sit and watch this for 18 minutes because that's how long it takes but once it completes we did kind of a uh, just a printout of this of the uh, test results and all of our tape drives that we sell or repair ship with these test test results. So when a customer sends a drive in for repair, it worked in our environment. Why is it work it working in yours? And we can kind of work through some of those things. This particular one here is a, a HP LTO5. Okay, and it's the model number of it. It shows the power on uh, uh, days. And this has been powered on for 1,671 days, okay? It's gone through 283 power on, power off cycles. And it was manufactured in 2012. Now we scroll, scroll through these results to see the throughput in megabytes per second. And they advertise LTO 5 drives as 140 megabytes per second. but this is 132, which is just fine because the way they test those, they test them for optimal results. They vary the block size, they do this, they do that to get to 140. One, 130 to 140 is just perfect. And then on the bottom, it basically says it passed. It's got a little green thing here, ITDT, and it's passed. So that's kind of a quick overview. We prefer the uh, Dell version for certain things, and we like the IBM version for certain things as well. One of the things that the Dell version does that the IBM doesn't do, it doesn't do a post-B test. And you say, well, what is a post-B test? Well, that moves your head all the way to the upper track. Uh, the head is moved to the upper tracks of the media. 
and it'll test that. Common complaint of a customer, oh, we our backups fail after three terabyte backup fails after one terabyte. Well, it, it gets to the top of the, the travel and it can't tra can't move there because of debris buildup or whatever. So we kind of pick that up as well. So that's going to kind of wrap up the tape testing software, at least the IBM uh, version of it and the Dell version. So now we're going to transition to phase two, which is going to be how we test our units in the lab.